this a moment to capture and cherish? The Zagari Ratcliffe's hand in hand again after six long years. Nazanin speaking for the first time about holding her daughter once more. That moment was precious. I have been waiting for that moment for such a long time. And I was overwhelmed, um, specifically to get to know Gabriella uh, and Richard after such a long time. It was a very, very emotional moment. I haven't seen Gabriella for the past two and a half years. It's been lovely to, you know, to, to get to hold her, to braid her hair and to brush her hair. That was a moment that I really, really miss. The most normal of life's moments, so precious and tinged with pain too. Because I have seen five foreign secretaries changed over the course of six years. That is unprecedented. I mean, how many foreign secretaries does it take for someone to come out? Five. It should have been one of them eventually. So now here we are. What's happened now should have happened six years ago. Philip Hammond, Boris Johnson, Jeremy Hunt, Dominic Raab. It was Liz Truss who finally got Nazanin out. The government repeatedly refused to acknowledge the link between your imprisonment and that debt, which has now been paid. And while you must be absolutely delighted to be home, I guess my question is, do you feel really angry with the government too? I always felt like I am holding this black hole in my heart all these years. Um, but I'm just going to leave that black, black hole in my heart. I'm going to leave that black hole on the plane when the plane lands. I'm not going to live for the rest of my life with a grudge over the past six years. It has been cruel what happened to me, um, but I think I, will, I, I do not want to um, um, kind of... Um, this moment is so glorious for me. And the MP who campaigned for her freedom now demanding answers as to why it took so long. She said to me, the minute the debt was paid, she was home. They were just pushing her out of the door. And you heard in the conference, she talks about how she was told from the second week of her imprisonment that she would be home if we paid the debt. So my question is, why didn't we pay the debt earlier? Nazanin home, but never forgetting those left behind. Prisoner Morad Tabaz's daughter here too, to highlight her father's case. I think we were just so eager for any sort of positive result because we were promised a, a furlough and a lift on a travel ban and we've seen neither come to fruition. And at this stage, we, we don't have that much else that we can do but to, to keep fighting for her. The fight for Nazanin won, but only after a long-fought public campaign. Gabriella told me on the phone one day, I was still in Iran, that, Mummy, you do realise that you are very famous, and then it's me and then it's Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. And then I said, OK, you know, it's not good to be famous because, you know, you want to have a normal life and, you know, just to have a... Have a... And she was like, oh, you're not going to be famous forever. Maximum a week. So we're bracing ourselves for a week of fame and then we're just going to have a normal family. Now time to be normal and to get to know each other again away from the public gaze. But questions about what happened to Nazanin won't go away. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.